Hey guys, welcome back to Bi-Weekly Bites, episode 5. Today I'm here with uh, Viper baseball player Tyler Hubbard. Hi. Hi, yeah. Um, and I'm just going to be talking to him about uh, baseball, and we're going to have a, a good little conversation about kind of what it means to be a Viper baseball player and the culture surrounding baseball. So, Tyler, what kind of led you down the path of getting where you are now, playing for Vandegrift um, and taking baseball as seriously as you do? Um, I started playing when I was really young. I was inspired by my dad. My dad was a big baseball player in uh, high school and then he went on to play, I think, his first year in college. And that kind of inspired me after hearing that, hearing about that. And I grew up in Round Rock, so I was, my family was a big-time Round Rock Express fan. So uh, we went out to those all the time, and that was like kind of what jump-started me into playing out at Old Settlers to start. And then um, I progressed to play out at Northwest Little League, and then from then I kind of that's when I really wanted to take it more serious. So I started playing select baseball at ten, and uh, while trying to keep up with the high school, like following along of Vandergrift, I knew we always had really good players, and like one day I always wanted to be a part of that, and it's kind of where I am today. Yeah, now you're you know three years into it, going into your senior season, what are what are your thoughts going in? Do you have any uh, goals, hopes for the season, predictions? Um, yeah, obviously the first goal is to uh, make the playoffs and then win a district championship. And with the people we have coming back, I definitely think it's a very, very good chance that we can do both. And uh, getting a new start with Coach Hickel, which is awesome. It's been such a great year so far, so I'm really excited. Yeah, I mean, for reference, I'm a baseball player as well, and I think all of us are excited for the little bit of a rebuilding phase that we're doing. We're rebranding the entire program. Uh, making lots of changes to equipment, the fields, just how we operate. Um, so it is a very exciting time. And plus, if we do win district, it'll be the first time in our school history yeah. that we do yeah. that. So could be a very, very uh, historic season uh, for us. What are what are your goals going past Viper Baseball? Are you, are you trying to play in college? Um, what, what do you want to do there? Yeah, my goal is to play Division One baseball in college. So either any way that happens, I'm hoping for the opportunity to get that but uh I have no plans yet to play anywhere but I'm still uh, working for that opportunity do you have a specific dream school that you're going for my dream school is Pepperdine Pepperdine has always been my dream school I went out there freshman and sophomore year and fell in love with that place and ever since then I'm trying to wheel my way to play for uh, Pepperdine it's a beautiful school out in California yeah so position wise do you like to pitch or would you rather I hit do the like field? To, um I think of myself as a utility guy. I want to play all the time, anywhere, no matter really where it is. So if it's pitching that day, I want to pitch. If it's playing center field, I want to play center field every inning that I can and then be in the lineup hitting. Um, but, yeah, I'm really open to play anywhere. As long as I'm on the field, I'm happy. I got you. Just whatever they need for that day, whatever yeah, the team whatever needs. Yeah, whatever they need. I'm sure Coach Hickel would like that answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, Coach Hickel will probably like this question. Over your almost four years now being a Viper baseball player, what does it mean to you to be a part of this program? Um, it's, it's an honor because of the, uh, like the hard work we put in, whether it's in the class or during the season. Like we always got a close knit of people, and we actually care. We really want to. We want the best foot forward to the program, not only for this year but for years to come. So I think if we can like leave a good mark for uh, this year, it's only going to benefit us throughout the rest of the years, even when we're gone. Hundred percent. We got uh, everybody on the snowball now. Yeah, the as snowball we like effect. to say. What was, uh, so I remember back in our freshman year, we did a similar boot camp style thing that we did today, and Callan actually wrote an article covering that uh, earlier. I think he interviewed Cade, um, mm -hmm. uh, Cade Cunningham possibly. Um, what were your thoughts compared to previous years on our boot camp this year? What do you think? Um, well, I, this is my first year in the baseball class, so I've really only heard of other sorts of baseball boot camps, but I came from the football boot camp because I played football through my sophomore year, and it's two totally can different different things, but two different things in a good light. Where like football was more like strength and discipline. Baseball was also discipline, but it was more just like you had to do everything exactly right or else you weren't going to succeed as a team. And so once we got everyone to kind of like join in and kind of just like, okay, we just need one more day of like perfection. We get one more day of perfection. If we can do that throughout the season, which was the main like intentions for this boot camp, I think that will like help us reach our goals, which is win a district championship and uh, make the playoffs. Of course, and there are there any uh, any personal any personal stats or goals you're going for accolades, all state, all district? Have yeah. you thought about that? Um, I mean, yeah, definitely. I want to um, field 
uh, 100% or 1,000%, whatever it is, at any position I play. Uh, I, I was able to do that last year in center field, and uh, I think that's a pretty good goal for me to do again this year, being on varsity, fielding 1,000% both years. And uh, I want to bat above 320, and I also want to have a sub-1-5 ERA and uh, make all state, all district, make playoffs, and be academic all district. I think that's what we need to win. I think that attitude is kind of what we need from the rest of our guys mm-hmm. to come out and win. Um, last question. What are your thoughts on the guys coming up, underclassmen, freshmen? I know you I know you know some of the guys coming yeah, up from yeah. football. Um, what do you see there? Um, I see a lot, a lot of potential. Um, a lot of big guys, a lot of strong guys, really athletic. And I think we – I really do think we have the pieces – once we put them all together to uh, make a run at this thing, and then for the future, even when we're gone, I think it's I think it's in really good hands. Yeah. And is there uh, anything you'd like them to know? Any words of encouragement? Um, hop on the snowball because it's gonna it's gonna keep moving with or without you. So might as well just get on. All right. Well, that sounds good. Thanks for joining me. This was uh, episode five of Biweekly Bites. We will see y'all in two weeks.